Hello and welcome everyone! After a long time, I decided to continue my tutorial series in this channel. And in this series, you will be learning how to create an ocean effect in Autodesk Maya. Before we start, I just want to say thank you all for supporting me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please comment down below, like and subscribe, because it really encourages me to create more videos for you guys. Alright, let's get started. First, we need to go under Window, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Once you open the Plugin Manager, search for Boss. We are going to use Boss to create this effect. Make sure Boss is loaded and Auto Load is enabled. Once that's done, close the window and now Boss is enabled in Maya. The next thing we need is a plane, which we will use as our ocean surface. Once you create the plane, Rename it in the outliner as Ocean Mesh. Then go to the channel box and set the scale X, Y and Z all to 100. Perfect! Now our Ocean Mesh is scaled to 100 on all axes. Next, open the Attribute Editor, go under Polyplane 1 and set the subdivision width and height to 100 by 100 so we have enough polygons to simulate this effect. That's perfect! Once you finish this, before moving to the next step, make sure to freeze transformation and delete history by clicking the two buttons at the top. Perfect! Now since we have our ocean mesh, let's create another object for collusion. Create a new mesh and rename it Collider Mesh. This is going to be our collider. Go to the channel box again and set the scale X, Y and Z to 10. Actually, let's resize that back to maybe 5. Ok, this will be our collider and I'm happy with that. Now, again, freeze transformation and delete history. Since we have these two objects, we can now move to the effects workspace. Go to the top menu switch the FX, then open the Boss tab and click on Boss Editor. Inside here, the first thing we need to do is create a Wave Solver. When you click on it, it will ask you to select a mesh object to define the simulation domain. Click OK, then select your Ocean Mesh. Now we have created the Wave Solver. Before running to the simulation, make sure you have enough frames in your timeline. If we press play right now, you will see nothing happening on the mesh. That's because we still need to add waves. Under the graph, click create spectral waves. Now if you press play, you should start seeing our waves. I love this part, it's like magic. We are making magic in Maya and that's why I love this software. Now go back under the attribute editor, select the spectral waves node and look under the attributes. Here you can play with several settings. Wind speed to control how fast the waves move, choppiness and other details to adjust the overall shape, wave height for example if I set this to 4 the waves become much higher, if I set it to 2 they are smaller, I will keep it at 2 for now. Next we have patch size. If you make it 200 by 200 you will see the change on the waves. If you make it 50 by 50, the waves will be less detailed but less stretched out. Let's set it around 80 by 80. I think that looks best. Now click again on your spectral waves and you will see other settings as well. For now, I will keep the solver settings as they are. If you press play now, you will see the waves nicely animating on the surface. In the following tutorials, I will show you how to assign materials to the ocean, add details to the surface and make our collider mesh actually collide with the water. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. I will be making a series of videos continuing this topic, so I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want me to make more videos in this series. And if you would like to support the channel, you can also click the super tank button it really helps me keep making these tutorials for you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.